I have here five identical shapes. Let's grab the eraser tool, keyboard shortcut Shift D, and go for drag through all of them. No big surprises, we've nicely cut a hole through all of our artwork. Let's undo one step. So now I'm thinking I love the look of these first two shapes. The last three look terrible and could use some erasing. So the trick here, guys, is to get very specific with our erasing, we just need to first make a selection of certain objects. Now in this case, I only want the eraser tool to target the last three shapes. So grabbing the selection tool, I'll select those three shapes. Grabbing the eraser tool again, let's go for a drag through all of them. Now I'm yet to release my mouse. It looks like it's about to change all five shapes, but I'm going to release the mouse just now. Check it out. The first two shapes remain unchanged, and only those that we had selected were changed. So you might be thinking, well, that's kind of interesting. Well, let me show you a more practical example. Now in this scene just here, I'm thinking I would like to edit just this valley here. So I still have the eraser tool selected. So if I make a change through here, firstly, it looks like I'm just painting with white. But if we go up to view show transparency grid, we can see all that I've done is punch a hole through all of the artwork. In other words, not what we want. So let's undo one step. So of course we know that we need to make a selection before using the eraser tool. Now we don't want to have to be going and grabbing the selection tool, making a selection, grabbing the eraser tool. If we're wanting to do this a lot, this is going to get very tedious very quickly. So here's a cool pro tip for you. Note, I'm still using the eraser tool. If I hold down the command of the control key, it temporarily gives me the selection tool. I'm going to now click on this mountain to make a selection. And now I will release the command of the control key and it returns me to whatever tool I was using a moment ago, in this case, the eraser tool. So I'm now free to make a change. Again, while I still have my mouse held down, it looks like I'm just painting with white, but as soon as I release my mouse, check it out. We have indeed just changed the valley in this mountain range just here, and all of the artwork behind it remains unchanged. So that's getting very specific with the targeting of your eraser tool here inside of Illustrator. I hope that helps. Catch you later.